Okie dokie, welcome back to the grind. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, we are obviously on the credit grind today. And uh, as always, we are in the AMX M449. Slowly making our way in a nice tier 9 game. Although, I say tier 9. This is actually kind of like really nice matchmaking for the tank. Because you get obviously the tier 7s. And then you get only, what, 3 tier 9s. Uh, one of them being artillery, which is going to be slightly annoying. But overall, this shouldn't be too bad. Right, let's see what we can get done here. Oh, that's not really what you want. Uh, are we okay, though? Yeah, we're, we're okay still. That's fine. We can still go up to uh, where we want it to be, which is at this rock. The 430 has taken this location, so that's fine. And hopefully, we can now go and punish, like, the Alpen Tiger. I believe we tracked him as well. No, that wasn't our tracking. Someone else tracked him. That's fine. Now we get our tracking in. And now he's dead. Very nice. Good start so far. Um, I'm not trying to block this phase one, but, you know, he's kind of just in the way. I'm going to put one into this bush here because TDs would like to sit in it. Not any TDs, though, that we can see. That's fine. We'll just wait for the stun to go because there's not really anything happening at the moment. Nothing that we can really do. Also, the Coppola being on the right-hand side for us here means that we can kind of peek this without any punishment. Which is quite nice. Let's see if the 5120 wants to peek. Another good indicator, if someone's over this way, usually this tree is knocked down. Usually. Like they've, they've either knocked down this tree, because there's actually two here, or they've knocked down this tree. So, if you see that those trees are knocked down, then there's probably someone in this bush. If not, then they're sitting right behind this tree. So, there's usually someone. This Super Hellcat is very brave. I mean, I would not be sitting out here, considering that artillery can one-shot him as well. Hmm. I can feel an artillery one-shot coming from this, uh, this Hellcat. Someone shot, though. Is anyone sitting here? I think that was a hit. I didn't see a splash. That's another hit. There's someone in there. Let's just hope it's not an ISU. Uh, all right, I think we got two hits into that, whatever that was. And they are running, so they'll probably still be running back. I don't know whether we hit anything there. It could just be out of render for me. They're not sitting there. We'll try one more and then we'll... Uh... Didn't really go where I wanted it, but it's fine. Um, Yeah, there's not really too much I can do, unfortunately. It's just a case of just sitting here and waiting. Because we can't push this. We get spotted? I don't think we're going to hit the artillery, but it was worth a try. But I do think there has to be someone still here. Okay, let's just go forwards. We still have all our health. Let's just make the most of it. This is probably going to go quite badly, but we'll see. We just received 400. That's from the M46. It's a WZ that's over there, so that means we might not have actually even penned him. You are actually just there. Hmm. So, oh yeah, I, I don't think we did pen him. 
We're going to put one in. Maybe we get lucky with the ice shoe. We didn't aim it very well, but we didn't actually know where he was in all fairness. Unlucky. 2k combined. Nah, it's not actually, is it? Because it's some tracking. Ugh, rip. Another one hopefully into the... No, he's too far to the right. To the left, even. I'm going to put one more in, though, so that's fine. Let me shoot this. WZ is going to be... in a position to shoot me. I can't shoot this guy because he's behind the rock at the distance. Uh, if I move around this way, I can shoot him, but... I think it's just going to be too late for me to even do anything. Yeah, it's behind the rock still. Alright, let's put one into this pattern. I mean, I didn't fully aim it, but I don't even know where the shell went. Nice. And we can just keep going. Okay, so we haven't dropped on marks, which is good. It stayed the same. We've gone up a tiny amount, but... Yeah, after a week, the last thing you want is the marks have changed so much that you end up dropping like 4%. That's the only challenging part about this kind of series, is that I'm trying to mark it, and obviously trying to mark it and only playing once a week is a little bit dodgy, let's say. Okay. Not bad. Not bad start to the, uh, to this, to the grind today. Yeah, that's definitely not bad. 73k without any missions and standard account. 75k. Yeah, that's good. Okie dokie. Next game. Right, we get Ghost Town. It's not actually too bad. We haven't played a lot of Ghost Town on this account. Or at least not in the AMX, right? I don't feel like I've played a lot of Ghost Town in the AMX for the Credit Grind series. So it's a welcome change. Um, I mean, I know we played it with Assault, and, um, what is that on my monitor? Get it off. But, like, okay, I'll sort that out later. Like, tiny little, you ever get these just tiny specks that just cling on to the monitor? I, I, I don't even know how it gets dirty half the time. You just randomly just wake up in the morning, and you, you go to, like, your, your computer or something, and you just have random specks of stuff on the, on the monitor. They weren't there the last the night before. Oh. oh, at least we bounced him. Okay, the only thing that we need to be careful of is TD's camping at the back of the map. That's actually that should have penned. Maybe it didn't go where I aimed it though. That went nowhere close to where I aimed it, but we don't really have time to keep peeking out like this, especially when our capola's on this side. So Okay. Neither of them have HP boost, which is good. And I can actually go for his Capola here. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Not so lucky with RNG this time. There we go. Thank you. I don't know what our light tank's doing at the back here. Only he wants to be a TD. That's very nice. Put one into the ice five. Try and just hide my capola. Put one into this guy. Thank you, gun. You're now working. This is good. Did he actually... Wait, where did he even hit? Did he hit the Capola? Okay. 
Yeah, well aimed, well aimed shot there. Okay, we actually need to conserve our hit points now. Like this is the problem that we face. Uh, the problem being, I can't just sit here now because I know the ISUK is at the back of the map, um, so I can't actually play here. And we're being flanked, so what I should really do now is go around like this and just hide from that side. But we can now defend this. Because it, there is zero point of me sitting over there. Okay. I, I just... I love it when they can just fire and not get spotted. It's good. And we have a light tank sitting at the back of the map still. Really? I, mean, I have to make these quick peeks, otherwise it's just not going to work. Hmm. Please, light tank, do something. Like, I don't... That went nowhere close. Oh. Okay. Really? You're not even going to spot him? I have to go forward to try and not to get blocked by this guy. I'm not too sure what this guy's doing, actually. Did he just forget that there was two other tanks over here? Maybe. Um, right. Well, their light tank is in the heavy side. Our light tank is in the tank destroyer side, which is, uh, good. Yep. T-103 is actually losing this fight. I don't know how, but he's managed to. I can't go either way. I might as well just sit here and just wait. Uh, the Barras is going to have to run, probably. If he doesn't, I think he dies. Yeah, he dies. Another light tank is too low to actually do anything. I don't have the view range to spot these that are over here. I don't actually know if I get spotted if I cross over. Okay, you know what? We're going to try it. Okay? We're going to try it because I need to do something. We cross over and then at least now we have a little bit of a better angle. I don't think the Emil can spot us, but hey, we could be wrong. Mm. Can't find a shot on this guy, unfortunately. I can just about see his Capola, but it's not in a position where we can actually do anything. Okay, the Astrons are way over there. There's still the ISU right at the back of the map. See if we can get this. Did I just track him or something? I was nowhere close. Oh, well. Bit of a bad game, actually. Like, there's just nothing we could have really done. Our light tank didn't do his job. Yeah, not really too much we can do about it. Still won 40k, so it's not the end of the world, but... He got no spotting. Imagine how much spotting he would have got if he was actually in the middle with all of those. Be mental. They would just be perma spotted the whole time. Anyway, into the next game. Okay, we're on Serene Coast. Not bad. Um, we are going to go to C1 because why not? I mean, it's actually probably yeah. 
yeah, there's no arty, so we can actually go to see one, which is going to be quite nice. Um, I just want to double check something. Under graphics, it is on half good. I changed the um, the actual color thing to deep. I think it looks quite nice. Kind of, it kind of uh, shows the blues more in camos and stuff like that. Just makes stuff pop a little bit more. It's quite nice, I think. But not fully. Like, if I do it fully, it's too dark. Like, look how dark this is. Uh, I don't like that. But then, like, it just seems too washed out if you don't have anything. So. You ready? Almost. We gotta keep moving. Hey, we got some spotting on him. Uh, I think he has one more shell. Yeah, he's out now. Alright, SG-101. Um, let's see if we can just set him on fire. Because that's usually what happens to SG-101s. Uh, let's okay, five as well. Hello. Would like some help, though. Like, T-34? Please? Why is my heavy tank not doing anything? Try and get him to bounce my Capola once he bounce. Okay, then. Uh, I need help. Why is he not doing anything? So one problem with this tank. Oh my god. Okay. Maybe not just the one problem. Is he here now? <gasps> He's here! Shalom T-34. T Go for the radio for him. Now that we can actually peek over a little bit more. I want this issue to fire. Not at me. That'd be very, very bad. Yes, he's fired. Right, now we peek over and fire! This game just makes no sense. That's definitely his fuel tanks that I hit. Oh my god. How are you this lucky, man? But that's that's the third shot now that has just gone nowhere close. It's just missed. Without any real reason for it to be missing. Like point blank range. Like from that distance, no tank should be missing. It should go exactly where you aim it. I mean, we have to keep moving, otherwise the damage is just going to disappear from us anyway. There's no point stopping to try and take a shot. Especially with this gun. Half the time it's better on the move than it is standing still. Yeah. This is just a turbo game, unfortunately. Nothing we can do about it. Game is literally over. It should have been a lot more damage, but the RNG, honestly. <laughs> Be nice to get one more shot in at least, but I don't think we're even going to get that. It's just, he's dead already. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. <sighs> Bad RNG and a turbo game. Not a lot you can do. We fire 15 shots, five of them hit. I mean, at least three of them were at the SU within about 20 meters. It just shouldn't be a thing. Like 0.32 accuracy, and it's just nowhere close to that. Okay, so we're gonna play one more game and uh, see how much credits we make at the end of it. Okay, we are on Erlenberg. It is uh, one artillery, but in a tier 10 game. And there are four tier 10s. 
Yes. Including an FV. And a super comp. And an M60. M60 will just go through me like absolutely nothing. Yeah. Ally Batchat155 has drowned. Good. Good. We're off to a, just a fantastic start, to be quite honest with you. Uh, the team is already complaining to each other. It's just great. It's just a really, really nice, fun experience of World of Tanks. Let's see if anyone else wants to peek this. Try and cross. I, I mean, what, what is this? An interesting IS-3 player. I do really like this position though. You can go in pretty much any tank. You can cover that that little bit there. You can cover a lot. Track once. He's not using HP boost, so we can always track him. That's good. He's used his repair kit once as well. It's good information for us later on. We just wait. It's a tier 10 game. We don't need to rush anything. We rush, we die. Enemy G saw drowned. You remember the old memes about Erlenberg and just people would just randomly drown and stuff like that? They're all coming back, aren't they? I. <sighs> Why do I not have intuition? God's sake, man. I need intuition. It's like the best perk in the game. Intuition is just more damage, that's it. It's just flat out, Just you get more damage. Like, what's that alpha on this? 400 alpha. I mean, maybe we can get a blind shot on him. I don't know, I can't really see, so... I'm sorry, I have intuition on every single tank on my main. Which is why I quickly switched to it. Because it's now just ingrained in my head. He spotted me. So we can't peek this now, we just need to wait. I just need to back off a little bit because artillery. Oh, artillery's not where I thought he was. Artillery's like over there? You does, hello. I don't know if we can size scope against an E75, but we're about to find out. Mm, repair. Drive forwards. Easy bounce. You ready? Capola. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Okay. Uh, I don't think we can see them from this side. Well, that's not very good, actually, is it? Do you reckon the FE's coming this way? Can we still see over this? Okay, we can. We can still use this position. And we won't get shot at. Which is good. So I think we just wait here. See if the FE comes. Okay. I don't think they can shoot that. Be patient and just try not to get spotted again. I don't think the FE would come up the city. Like, there's no real reason for him to come this way. 
I think that he would go around, and then he can just camp at the back, but... I don't know. That the VZ is controlling this, it's just like, I can't really... I mean, at least I give my team vision here. I'm moving back. Progetto is there. Alright, we're gonna load the uh, AP round again. I don't know if I heard rubble falling around here. This is lost. I did. And I think that's the FE. Oh, here he comes. He's gonna come right here. Just try and bounce this. Not bounce, but you know what I mean. Well, I mean... Once. We're gonna get shot in the. Well, behind. E75 tracks once. That's fine. He low rolled. And I can reverse. Trapped again. Maybe I can bounce him. Bounced him once, but this, yeah. Ugh. Well, we tried. I mean, 2.2k out of that is not really too bad. We come third on damage in a tier 10 game. Uh, yeah. I'm the biggest noob? No, 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 no. The biggest noob killed Big Nooba? Well, I mean, we earned 51k out of it, so it's not completely terrible. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, Artie drowned at the start, and then this guy drowned. I don't know, it's just a weird game. And everyone was complaining at the start as well. But to get 2.2k, nearly 2.3, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And we go up a little bit on the mark, so it's not, not all in all, this was actually not a bad session. We didn't earn, like, loads of credits um, because we don't have a premium account and whatnot. But I'm happy with it. It was okay. We got decent wins. Um, yeah, sure, we didn't get the damage that we really wanted. But 50 games, we're now at nearly 72%. Hopefully next week goes a little bit better. So, as always, if you did enjoy, then make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as it does all help me out greatly. And, uh, yeah. We, uh... We tried. We tried our best. Coming up with the day to day is going to be sound is important because, um, yeah, like the only reason why we why we knew that the FV was coming our way is because of, we heard him destroy stuff. Like we heard him destroy the rubble or like the little fences, whatever. Um, it doesn't always happen, but you can actually gain a lot of information just from having the sound turned on. Um, especially with just the effects and stuff like that. So, yeah, sound is important. Either way, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.